So I was sent a screener for a Korean movie called Devil's Stay. Now, as most of you know who have watched the channel for a while, exorcism movies are definitely my least favorite subgenre within horror. And so I was a little hesitant on this one. Um, this is about a father who is a heart surgeon and his daughter uh ironically needs a new heart um so she gets one but then she becomes possessed and she needs an exorcism and the exorcism goes terribly wrong and she dies this is like the opening of the movie so a little different and that's what i really loved about this film is this is definitely different than most exorcism films that i've seen now are there tropes in here that we've seen a million times in these movies yes of course but i feel like the story is told differently enough that this felt fresh and i ended up really enjoying this now i will admit to a little bit of a bias here because number one i love korean films but also number two is because i am a father uh, of a daughter two daughters specifically, but in this case, we have one daughter here. And this is the lengths a father will go to to rescue his daughter, uh, which is endless, right? And I really liked the journey and I really liked the relationship uh, between the father and daughter. I think that was built very well. They have this opening scene of them stargazing before her surgery. And I thought it was very endearing and connected us to them. Um, I would have probably been connected anyways, just as a father. Um, but this really humanized them and made them feel like a legitimate father and daughter. Um, also, you have the relationship or, or the very strained relationship between the father and the priest, right? So... Typically, what we're dealing with in these films is the priest comes in and they're saying, like, the, the fight is usually, like, it's the devil and, and the person's like, I don't believe in that crap, right? Like, that's the typical argument between them. But in this one, it's that, you know, you killed my daughter. Like, I saved her. I gave her a new heart. And then you killed her. And the priest is coming around and being like, you know, no the the demon still in her body even though she's dead right so we kind of have a little bit of like an autopsy of jane doe going on here where her body is not reacting the way a dead body should right like rigor mortis hasn't set in her temperature hasn't dropped but like she has no heart rate and the priest is, is talking about how like her body needs to be destroyed uh, but the dad is convinced that his daughter is still in there and that he can still save her. So it's like a race against the clock as everyone's coming to mourn her death. And you have this doctor uh, that most people respect seemingly has like lost his mind, right? And wants to save his daughter, but everyone's like, you're out of your mind. Uh, and it's really kind of like how he has to look past all of that, um, throw away his credibility to try to save his dead daughter who no nobody thinks uh, can be saved. And then uh, trying to work with a priest who he thinks killed his daughter. Um, and then there's some really cool visuals. There's some there's some good moments that actually amplify um, the the powers of the the demon inside of her. There's things I don't like for sure. There's some moments that I'm I'm not keen on exactly. Um, where the story goes in a couple little moments and the believability of a thing here or there. Like I could nitpick this and that, but for an exorcism movie, this was very good for me. Um, just the connection to the family, that one got me for sure, but also the uniqueness of how this is told and how different this feels from the traditional girl in a bed strap down a couple priests come in you know that crap that's been done eight thousand times since the original exorcist i'm just done with that movie i genuinely have no interest in that film 
like at all anymore. And typically when I see that it is an exorcism movie, I'll try to like watch a trailer. And if it shows that that's what the film's going to be, it's just, I, I genuinely don't care. Um, I feel it is the most uh, overused plot in any subgenre. So, and, and it's just one I'm not particularly fond of to begin with. So, so it's kind of already um, not something that I'm going to be keen on. And then to have it, you know, done in repetition endlessly, it's just, it's not appealing to me. But this one does enough um, to feel unique. And I, I, I did quite enjoy my time with it. Um, now it comes out December 6th. It said in theaters only. Now, whether or not we're getting it here in the States, um, this is a well-go uh, entertainment release that was sent to me um, on the website. When I clicked on it, it said, watch now. I clicked on it, it said, coming soon to watch at your house. And I was like, okay, so maybe it's going to VOD here in the States. Honestly, I can't really get much uh, information on that, but I think it'll probably be on VOD pretty soon. Um, but if you are a big exorcism fan and you kind of want to see something different, you like Korean films, if you are a sucker for daddy daughter movies, um, then I, I definitely think this is one that you need to keep on your radar. Um, there's, there's something that happens at the end that you got to just got to roll with it. It, it. I don't honestly think most people would even think about it. I think they just roll with it because they were, they were vibing with the film, which is totally fine. But I always like to question the logic of something or whatever. But uh, there's something that happens. Um, I can't. Well, a lighter. There's also. And so like that moment is is kind of silly because you have to just accept that he would know that that would happen for that to be able to happen after it's, it's a little silly. As I said, I don't think anybody's going to think about it when they watch the scene. But for me, I was like, what that, how that's a, that's a leap. Um, there's also something that happens with the, with the surgery that gives uh, context to the story later on that I actually thought was really good as well and added a good amount of drama. There's something that goes on with like a, like, I don't know if it's like a witch. There's this like Russian witch or something that the kind of like a subplot there that I didn't care for. I actually thought that that was unnecessary. And uh, I felt like it kind of bogged the film down a little bit. And I wish we kind of didn't deal with that stuff at all. I, I found myself kind of checked out during that. And it's not a big portion of the film. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I just like this idea that, it, as I said, like Jane Doe, autopsy of Jane Doe, where the body's laying there and there's like evil inside of it. And uh, the dad is is trying to convince people that, you know, she can be saved. And they're all just like, OK, you know, you're obviously going through the den the denial phase. Um, anyway. All right. Well, I can't talk about anything more without spoilers. So that's that. Uh, Devil's Stay, December 6th. Look for it. Let me know. Adios. <laughs>